Hi guys, this is Buffy, Nick in Deadly Kikuni. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the best active ratting ships in EVE, the Rattlesnake. Thanks to the drop in the value uh, over the summer, this ship and fit is not as expensive as you may believe. Thanks to the high damage output, this ship has the best ISK per hour in EVE, except for maybe a Vindicator or perhaps a Carrier, but it's way more cheaper. There is a lot of fittings out there, uh, and I'm going to show you two of mine. I'm not going to say that this, this is the best ones, uh, but it will make the job done. First fit is a torpedo fit, and here it is. Uh, we have that torpedo launcher, stack 2, and a drone link. Three large shield extenders, a kinetic and adaptive invul. Uh, I'm not going to say that tank is super strong, uh, however it's enough for making most of the running sites. Uh, you can of course go for an active tank fit, however it's really no reason why you should do it. It also has a painter, uh, which of course could be a faction or take two. Uh, it has a missile guiding guiding computer, take two, with missile range script to increase the range of the torps. Three ballistic controls and three drone amplifiers to increase the damage. Here I have three large perjury rigs and uh, here of course you can uh, use take two of those. Uh, but it's really not necessary for doing this size and the cost of those rigs is around 80 million each so here I will just go for tech 1s. For drones I will use wasps tech 2. Here you can of course go for a gecko if you like. Uh, I feel like wasps is the best options here in the Grusa space since their damage type is kinetic and you can of course go for faction uh, instead of tech 2. As you can see here the range of the torpedoes is not that far. Uh, however, if you like to do Forsaken hubs, which you should, uh, they will spawn every wave in the same spot, so if you warp in at zero, you can kill all the ships before they get out of range. With the missile guidance, uh, you can actually get around to 23 kilometers, which helps a lot. Uh, you can also go for a rig uh, that increases the flight time of uh, the torpedoes if you feel like it. You can also change the, the torpedoes to javelin, uh, then you will receive over 30 kilometers. Uh, but you will lose some DPS and with the painter you will be actually be able to get a better hit on the smaller ships either way. Now to the second fit, the one I actually use. Uh, it's with cruise missiles. Uh, it does almost the same amount of DPS uh, as a torpedo fit actually uh, but have a lot longer range. Um, with this fit you can actually warp in at zero on the site then align the station or safe pass for immediate evacuation if gankers enter the system which actually is kind of awesome since you don't want to lose a rattlesnake. We don't really need uh, the MVD. Uh, you can put up a guiding computer instead uh, with some precision scripts to increase the damage done to the smaller targets. Now I will do a Forsaken Hub to prove that this tank is enough and that this fit actually works. Uh, in the site I'm really not going to do this site as effective as I could have done. Uh, I really need some more practice with this ship uh, since I'm a fan of the Ishtar, I usually don't use this ship as much. Uh, but this ship actually generates a great better ISK per hour than all other radar ships available. And uh, even if this is an active radar ship, um, it is actually worth trying. 